Louisiana lawmakers are working to overturn Governor John Bell Edwards' veto of a bill which would ban transgender girls from playing on girls' sports teams. NBC6's Shirley Busico shares reaction from both sides. The Fairness in Women's Sports Act bill was vetoed by Governor John Bell Edwards last week, and since then, opposing sides have been expressive about whether that was a good idea. Biological male uh, compete against a girl, they have a biological, a biological advantage, so that's why it wouldn't be fair. Adrian Critchard, the political and communications director for the People Acting for Change and Equality, says the bill is cruel and unnecessary. There is already basically a prohibition on trans youth playing competitive sports in high school. Um, they're not allowed to do that because of policies of the Louisiana High School Athletic Association. So really, we're just talking about elementary school or middle school kids. Governor Edwards says the bill amounts to discrimination and unfairly targets some of Louisiana's most vulnerable residents. Quote, when asked about this bill, discrimination is not a Louisiana value, and this bill was a solution in search of a problem that simply does not exist in Louisiana. State Representative Danny McCormick says he, along with other lawmakers, plans to override Edwards' veto and is confident they will be successful. The fact that we spent years uh, trying to get our girls to be uh, have sports that they could compete in against other girls, and we just want to preserve that. Critcher says if that happens, the state will lose millions of dollars from a basketball tournament. The NCAA plans to hold a basketball Final Four national tournament in New Orleans next year. They've already said they will not come to states that discriminate. And they would consider this a discriminatory bill. Shirley Busico, NBC6 News.